Welcome to Music Class at Home, Week 1, just for you, PVJ. Great shakes, make your own instrument. This week you're going to make your own instruments using recyclable materials. Remember, safety first, so ask mum and dad to help you. You will need to bring your instrument with you when you go back to school, so you can use them in class. Be creative. I'm going to show you some ideas, but you are more than welcome to use your own ideas and have fun. Why not include the whole family and make a few? Some things you will need. Empty clean containers, such as egg boxes, small yogurt cups, an empty tin with no sharp edges, empty toilet roll, cardboard, uncooked rice or popcorn. The decorations and tools you will need. Tape, press stick, craft glue, etc. Beads, string, scissors, stickers, paint, googly eyes, pipe cleaners and a newspaper for the table. Ladybird shaker. Cut two egg holders from an egg carton and add a third popcorn. Glue it together and make sure that there are no gaps, then paint it and decorate it. The next one that we have is a monster music shaker. You will need toilet roll, cardboard circles, glue, popcorn or rice and things to decorate it with. How to make it? Measure and cut two circles from the cardboard to close the ends. Glue one end and let it dry, then you fill about a third with popcorn or rice. Glue the top. When it's dry and there are no gaps, you can paint it and decorate it as you wish. The next is a bunny shaker. You need two small yogurt cups, cardboard or foam cutouts for the ears and face, glue, popcorn or rice for the inside and googly eyes. Fill about a third of the yogurt cup with popcorn or rice. Glue the top and bottom together. Make sure there are no gaps. Once it's dry, then you can put it on the face. Stick on some bunny ears that you've cut out. I used foam cutouts, but you can use cardboard or anything that you have. Be creative. The next one is really simple. It's a cylinder shaker, and all you need is some tape and two lids from Pledge or furniture polish cleaner that you might have. What you do is you fill about a third of the bottom with the uncooked popcorn or rice and using the washi tape you join both lids together and you decorate it as you wish with stickers or anything you'd like. The pellet drum. This one is a little bit more comp complicated and more for a grade 3 learner but anyone is welcome to try it. You'll need an empty laughing cow cheese circle box, cardboard, stickers, glue, some insulation tape, an old pencil or three cardboard straws that I've joined together with tape, press stick, and two wooden beads and a string. How to make this. Cut a small space for the pencils to fit snugly inside the first half of the laughing cow cheese circle box. Use press stick to secure it, then put the other lid on top and tape it together. Tape the string to the carton, making sure that it's in the center of the box. Tie a knot at each end after you've put the beads onto it and make sure that the string's length is equal. Paint each side or glue circle cardboard cutouts to the box and then decorate it with stars or stickers. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to making the pellet drum, what you will need. Place the press stick inside, that's how you secure it. Using tape to tape the two boxes together. Then you tape the string on the back of the box Place the beads onto the string and tie a knot onto the end so it secures it and decorates. Now, 
why not let's have some fun by singing and moving. You all know the song very well. It's called Elephants Have Wrinkles. Let's do the actions together. Have fun. Don't miss next week's lesson, music class at home, week two, and enjoy making your instruments. Stay safe. Bye-bye.